Hey, good day traders, StockLegends.com here with another explosive stock analysis. We're looking at SNET for January 30th, 2012. And if everyone goes to StockLegends.com, under the ticker here it says SNET. This is where you can access our in-depth research report. So everyone, please take an opportunity to read it. Um, also follow us on Twitter and be sure to get all of our tweets. And also you can join our newsletter by scrolling down a little bit from on the front page, entering your name and email address and hitting join. Back to the technicals, we're looking at, this goes back about four months because prior to December there really wasn't any trading or volume that was really taking place in this particular stock it was pretty much non-existent a few tra shares trading once every few days or few weeks but what we did see uh, happen since uh, the beginning of December was an upward trend begin to develop here you can see that we started to get volume it was starting to become more um, prominent and we actually had a few days here where we had uh, quite a bit of shares around 400,000 shares traded three days in a row so buying interest is starting to pick up in the stock so it's starting to get some trading attention it makes it a great opportunity for entries and exits when the stocks are liquid now what we did see was the MACD lines were moving up confirming that we were seeing some sort of an upward trend I found some low points through a trend support line um, along with lows to sort of pick out where our trend was going. See it built up some resistance here around four and a half cents. Where we broke our support trend right around here is also where the MACD line crossed over to the downside. So that's significant because we now know that our, our MACD is giving us accurate sell signals. So if it's giving us an accurate sell signal, it should give us an accurate buy signal as well. What happened from here, we had a consolidation. We just moved sideways between 46 and sorry, 4.6 cents, 4.5 to 4.6 cents, and lows of about 3 cents. You can see some support here. Now, um, there's a significant thing I wanna mention here. This is what we call like an exhaustion break in technical analysis. You can see actually we broke above the resistance, but it's not a true breakout. And the reason why is because this candle actually opened up at around 5 cents. So the day opened, it gapped up over the resistance line, which is important. And then what happened is it closed down below the resistance. It actually closed down right here. And this isn't a true breakout. What we need to see is a move upward through the resistance. Or if we actually had gapped over and closed above the resistance, that would be a breakout. But when we just happen to have light volume and light trading and an order goes through above um, the resistance there and you know there was a few shares traded above the resistance and then it comes back down and closes below it, it's not considered a true breakout. Just like we are building up some support here at three cents and we had a low here at 2.5. Again, look, the stock opened down below the support level and then closed above it. Again, that's not considered a breaking of the support level. It's just excited with consolidation. But what we saw today is very significant. You can see that we had a huge amount of buying here, over 755,000 shares traded. You can see that over the past few days that um, the trading volume just started to increase exponentially. We just had huge spikes in volume, and a lot of attention is now starting to come on the stock and we actually broke above the resistance for the first time. So we broke our resistance and that's what we call a breakout. We had a long-term resistance here that lasted for um, basically an entire month and now we just broke it. So that's very significant. You can also see the MACD, which we gave us an accurate sell signal is giving us an accurate buy signal. Those lines are right on top of each other, right across over, and that's what we call a breakout. Now also looking at the STO, you can see it's starting to move up, another bullish sign, and you can see the accumulation is starting to head straight up based on the huge volume and price move that we're having here right now. And you can also see the RSI, which um, you know was previously moving sideways, is starting to make its way back up here, close around 65. Uh, if you would take a look at the past, you can see that RSI can easily hold you know levels here 80 to 90 for several days. So generally when we see a move into that area, sometimes we can say it's overbought. But in this particular instance, um, we could probably see an RSI going to 80, 90, and holding for several days before we saw any sort of a pullback. So that's also something we can look at too as well when we are looking for an exit point. Certainly, the, a brand new trend has begun. This may not be the lowest price that you can get in, into the stock at. I mean, you could have bought some shares around here, but you do have the risk of it breaking below support and losing money. But what we have here is the signal of a brand new trend. So although you are not 
getting in at the lowest price at this particular price point, you are certainly minimizing a lot of the risk you could have had by buying the stock up in this area for the last several months. We know new trends developing, certainly looks like a great opportunity and I'm really looking forward to watching this one on Tuesday. So thanks very much for watching. Be sure to join stocklegends.com and happy trading.